eyes Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care Hey guys, it's Tiger here And before I start this video Two things one, I want to say thank you guys so much for helping me hit 900 subs, which as a matter of fact, as of the time I'm making this video, I'm at 910 subscribers, and I appreciate all the support and you guys just sharing my videos, hitting that like button, it's really helped me out guys. And one more thing, if we could actually hit 20 likes in this video, that would be awesome guys. And let's get right into this. So today guys, we're going to be discussing the top 5 things about jailbreaking a PS4, which there aren't many things to be quite excited about quite yet however there's a number of things that you could do and i'm gonna explain the top five things that i found that i thought were pretty useful or just cool generally so first things first and you've obviously heard this one in my previous videos and all around because uh, it was like the first thing out and that is run linux on the ps4 of course that's pretty obvious and running Linux on PS4, I just thought it was pretty cool because, I mean, what other console can you run fucking Linux on? I mean, look at them. You got the fucking PS2 runs fucking soft mods and shit. So, what, you can play pirated games? You got the fucking Xbox. It, what OS can it run besides fucking the shit Windows 8, whatever fucking OS Microsoft gives you? I mean, basically, the only other console that can run Linux is the PS3, and that's on a 3.41 update, which is complete shit. It's very minimal. But, in other words, let's get right into the second amazing thing about the PS4 jailbreak, which happens to be able to, being able to run unsigned code on the PS4. You're probably wondering, oh, what can you do with unsigned code? Or, native code is the other term for unsigned code, which means you could basically, you know, run modified code, such as, like, mod menus and shit, or have an open FTP connection, you know, using unsigned code. Generally, just a lot of things you could do with unsigned code, guys. And that moves into our third thing that you could do that's pretty nice. So, you guys probably see another video of mine on this, which is running SteamOS on the PS4. Which allows you to play other games and just use the PS4 in a whole new way if you kind of think about it. And I thought it was really cool. As a matter of fact, guys, I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description so you guys could check it out. If you'd like to, I mean, I'm not going to force you to. It's down in the description, though. And guys, let's get right into this fourth amazing thing about the PS4 jailbreak, which happens to be pirating games. And I know this hasn't been officially announced yet, but within the future, this should be coming out just because of the fact that with every other console that has some type of exploit allowing it to do stuff like run on side code or Linux with like the PS3, or just anything generally that's not supposed to be there, like a jailbreak, just for example has always had some method of pirating so this will become in the future i can almost guarantee guys and it'll be awesome because you won't have to pay for any of the new games like overwatch as you can see the gameplay right here this game was not free guys it was 60 fucking dollars so on some real shit that would be awesome to see come out but let's move into this fifth awesome thing about the ps4 jailbreak and this happens to be another money saver, which is playing online without paying for PS Plus. And I know you're going to be like, wait, wait, you can't even get online yet. Well, obviously you can't get online, but, you know, once update spoofs are released for like the 3.50 update or something of that matter, you will be able to do something such of that, as in being able to go online without paying for PS Plus, of course. Now, <clears throat> this is just about all the things I've gathered you know of my interest maybe some of this stuff interests you guys about the ps4 jailbreak i mean if you guys want to you could just leave a comment down in the description let me know what you think would be awesome to see on the ps4 jailbreak or just what's awesome already about the ps4 jailbreak because i like to read some of your guys's you know opinions on this topic so otherwise guys if you haven't hit that like button yet you know slap it with your pinky toe no weird shit. But on some real stuff, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you enjoy my content, you know, just in general, go ahead and hit that sub button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.